So this is lesson five of the Free Code Camp's uh, HTML and CSS section. This one deals with commenting out HTML. The other lesson was on uncommenting. Should have just kind of put both in one, in my opinion, but so comment out HTML. It says remember that in order to start a comment, you need to use there it is. And to end a comment, you need to use, there it is, let me try to make this a little bit, there you go. So it says, here, you'll need to end the comment before your H2 element begins. And then it says, comment out your H1 element and your P element, but leave your H2 element uncommented. So it seems they just really want you to see how it works. So Right now, from line two to line eight, everything in between is commented out. If we only want the H1 and our P element to be commented out and leave this one like that, all we'd really have to do is, first of all, move this to line four. Okay, and then, I don't know what just happened, let's undo. Okay, and then we want to, do the same thing to this P element down here. So we could just take this. Oh wait, now I'll move the whole thing. Let's copy it. Control C. Go to line eight and then control V. And then we would take line four, control C, and then we could line 10, control V. So now our H2 element appears, cat photo app. But you see these uh, lines are commented out. And again, as mentioned in last video, this is helpful for different reasons. One, if you want to just try out certain part of code while not deleting your other stuff, you could just comment it out. And that way it's still there, um, but it's not affecting the actual page at the moment. And also, you could leave comments explaining what your code does, um, you know, to be more descriptive for people who might not know what your code is doing. That way, they kind of can understand it better. That's why you would leave a comment. The more comments, um, usually isn't the more the better. Uh, sometimes putting too much comments might uh, be, I don't know, just a waste of time. But you want to make sure to comment, uh, you know, the most important parts of your code and also the ones that might seem more esoteric to some people, more confusing or something. Um, but that should satisfy this challenge. If we go down, it just as comment out your H1 element so that it's not visible on the page. That's this H1 element. Uh, under it says leave your h2 element uncommented so that it, it is visible on your page and there it is uncommented visible on the page as we can see in our browser here on the right cat photo app h2 element still there then it says be sure to close each of your comments so i almost forgot to do that in this bottom one because it looked like it was already done but you do want to close it just to make sure only this P element is being commented out. So we could go ahead and run this and see what happens. So bring that rain, that means we got it. That's it for this one. See you guys on the next one.